Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial on trust analysis. Today we are going to solve this problem and determine force in members AF and EJ using the method of sections. I am sure by just looking at the truss diagram you would have guessed that this truss belongs to the category of special cases because any section that you pass through member AF or EJ is going to intersect more than three members of the truss. So this is a special case and this requires some special handling right. Let us first determine the reaction forces at points A and K by first drawing the free body diagram and writing the equilibrium equations. The free body diagram of the truss will look like this. Two forces AX and AY would replace the pin support at point A and a single horizontal force KX would replace the roller support at point K and our task is to first determine these three forces. So first we take moment about point A of all the forces acting on the truss. The force Kx would cause anti-clockwise moment and its moment arm would be 8 meters and these two forces would have clockwise moment and the moment arm would be 6 and 12 meters respectively. So this equation will give us Kx equal to 2.7 kilonewtons and next from the equilibrium equation sigma Fy equal to 0 will get Ay equal to 2.4 kilonewtons and sigma Fx equal to 0 would give Ax equal to minus 2.7 kilonewtons. So now we have determined the three support reaction forces and next we need to pass a section and cut the truss in two parts like this. Why do we pass a section like this? The idea is by passing a section like this and cutting the truss into two parts, we shall be exposing the forces in the members Fg, Gh, Hi and Ij which are all in horizontal direction and if we take moment of all these forces about any point on this line Fj, the moment would be 0 and that would help us in writing an equilibrium equation with a single unknown. That is a key point in this exercise. This point will be more clear when we draw a free body diagram of let us say the top part of the truss. This is the FBD of the truss, the, the top part of the truss and as you can notice this section intersects AF and therefore we will be exposing the force FAF acting at point A, we will be exposing the forces acting at point G, the internal forces in members GF and GH which are here and similarly the forces in members HI and IJ acting at point I are shown here and this is the force of the member EJ acting at point E. And notice that these internal forces of these four members are in a single line Fj and if we take moment of all these four forces about any point on this line it will turn out to be 0. And as you know our idea is to write an equilibrium equation in particular a moment equation so that the moment equation will have a single unknown. And if you notice carefully, these two forces meet at point F. So this is point F and Fij and Fej meet at point J.
and when we take moment of all the forces about point F, the moment of all these forces except F E J would be zero, and our moment equation will then have a single unknown. And similarly, when we take moment of all the forces about point J, the moment of all the forces, all the horizontal forces plus this force would be zero. And our moment equation will have a single unknown F A F, which is the internal force in member A F. So we write first the moment of all the forces about point F. We get this equation 2.7 kilonewton force will have a counterclockwise moment and force E J will have clockwise moment. And we'll have this equation which will yield F E J as 0 0.9 kilonewtons. So this force is 0 0.9 kilonewtons. And next we take moment of all these forces about point J. So this force as well as these four forces will have zero moment. So we'll write this equation and this equation will give F A F equal to 1.5 kilonewtons. So these are the two forces in these two members and we are done. So I hope you found this problem interesting and in case you like the video, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.